James Lannis, this wine is next. It's from the producer Casa Revla, Sao Miguel du Sol, red wine. This is coming from the Alentejo. This is a 2018 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this wine. Really good price point in this wine, but first of all, I want to show you the, the really cool packaging. This is made of cork. I've never seen a label completely composed of cork. It's a really cool uh, marking and uh, I think signature. I've never seen anything like it and probably never will again, or maybe I will. Now here's a back label for you to look at here. And now this wine is a composition of 50% Aragonesh, 30% Alicante Boucher, 15% Trincadera, 5% Cabernet Sauvignon. Think of this region as a red blend region. Often, not always with, um, you know, the Alicante Boucher. And it's the best Alicante Boucher on the planet, in my opinion. And uh, Syrah does quite well there. But when you bring them all together, they do something harmonious. And it doesn't mean I don't like 100% Alicante Boucher. I definitely do. But these blends are really fantastic. And a $12 suggested retail price point, I think it's a really good deal. 14% ABV and 40,000 cases produced in total. Now this wine is $12 suggested retail price point, a complete bargain, 14% ABV and 40,000 cases produced. Now I'll talk next about the vinification of this wine. So the wine grapes for this wine are harvested during the nighttime for ripeness. After total destemming, the grapes underwent a cold soak followed by a maceration before fermentation for 48 hours. Now the grapes are vacuum pressed and fermented in stainless steel tanks at controlled temperatures between 69 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 25 degrees Celsius. Malactic fermentation took place in stainless steel vats with French oak staves. 10% of the wine was aged in 400 liter French oak barrels for six months. So on this wine here, I'm getting notes of black cherry, pepper, forest floor, and uh, boot polish. Mmm, gorgeous. I get that term from James Halliday. I think it's a really positive attribute, especially for this wine. It's very fitting for this wine. And next, the palate characterization. And the palate expression is blackberry, cassis, pepper, a bit of uh, dried red rose petal and bay leaf. This wine is 92 points out of 100 points. More information on this producer will be listed down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. That's where the like button is. So if you like this video, please hit that button and subscribe buttons there as well. So please hit that button to see the latest videos that I'm producing. And if you've done that already, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And in between video shoots, you'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. And my podcasts are distributed through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. So I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more. Sante.